welcome to another video. Uh, we're here today at Viaduct Fishery in Somerton, Somerset. No complex has had more of an impact on my fishing life uh, than this place has. I fished it from when I was about 10 years old. Uh, I fished here every single day of every summer holidays, winter holidays, autumn holidays. Uh, I helped around around the fishery, ended up being the manager here for a year when I was about 18. Lived on site, ate, breathed, lived this fishery for a very long time. Um, and we're here today just to have a little walk down memory lane, catch some nice big fish out the margins, maybe take a couple off the top. We're going to start over on Spring Lake, which is what the original um, lake that I started fishing when I come down here, matches and pleasure. And we're just going to just gonna have a nice day. Sun's out. Let's hope for some nice fish. So we're just gonna creep around uh, a few light looking pegs. So we come up the back end of it. It's probably gonna be the quietest part today. So up against the viaduct. We're just gonna put a few handfuls of bait in a couple of pegs and then kind of just let them sit for a while, move on to them and do the same and kind of leapfrog around the lake. Zero complexity today. Six mil pellet, uh, loose feed, and we're gonna be putting luncheon meat on the hook. Seems so much smaller now I'm here. Like that cast to that island used to feel like it was the biggest chuck ever, like 100 yard chuck. I could probably hit that with a 10 grand bomb now. <laughs> probably didn't have my reels filled up enough. So it doesn't get any more simple really, fishing the margins. You just want something strong, super uncomplicated. We've got lilies, brambles, overhanging trees. You don't want a complicated rig going through that so that you're, you know, uh, getting hung up or losing, you know, components every time you hook a big fish. So we've got a size 10 barbless, spade end, eight pound mainline straight through, tiny little dumpy waggler, loaded, held in place with two number eights. Piece of luncheon meat. Just push it straight in like that. That is, what we're going to use. So I just had a big tail pattern come up behind the float. Oi. It doesn't know. It doesn't look his hooks yet, I don't think. Sneaking in the net. Early doors. <laughs> now that for a first fish. So what I was saying before I got interrupted was I see a big tail pattern come up behind the float and then all of the little dinks stopped, which, which told me that, <laughs> which is exactly what I was saying to Damon, it told me that the carp had moved in and pushed all the little fish out, so I knew the next bite I was going to get was going to be a carp, and it was, which I'll show you now. So, first fish of the day, I'll probably put that just nudging 10. Lovely condition, it's got a bit of a funny wonk along its back, but scale-wise, it's lovely. Mouth, absolutely perfect, which is really good to see, and a lot of commercial venues these days, you see a lot of fish damage, but this fish doesn't look like it's really had much attention at all. Don't even know when the last time you were caught. Its mouth is, yeah, the only mark in its mouth is my hook point. Perfect little specimen. Beautiful commercial water fish, just like I remember it. See you later. So the sun's out, I couldn't have come here without any bread and there's plenty of fish cruising but I've got sort of two or three nice sized fish just right down the inside here, just taking some bait. So I'm not even gonna change my rig, I'm just gonna keep my float on, just put a bit of crust on and just, just drop it in and see if we can have a bit of quick action. They seem like quite nice sized fish but it'll be, um, be hit and hold if they go around the back of that monk. There's a fish now. <laughs> Let's do it. 
so it's amazing how you could put in 10 pieces of bread and they'll all get taken you put a hook in one of them and that fish no matter how occupied it is they will know so i've had two fish come up and nudge the bait already and then move away even though i can see that the hook is coming out the top of the piece of bread so you know they're not fish are not stupid at 100 percent it's going to be interesting if we hook a fish here this used to be one of my favorite pegs when i used to match fish this like if you drew this peg peg uh, 10 i think it is if you drew this you were in with a chance <laughs> Another nice fish. So, super quick bite. Just had some fish coming down the inside, taking some bread. Picked out the biggest one. Oh, picked out the biggest one. Probably, I don't know, nine pound. Again, really good condition. Perfect mouth. Get this one back. Go and stalk another one. I never like getting too close to him because he's spook him. I'm after, I almost cast that straight in its mouth. Oh. cruising around, just put a bit of bread, put the, I must have put it straight on its mouth because he took he took it pretty quick. Another lovely looking fish, probably about eight pound.
brilliant trip down memory lane, exactly as I remember it. You know, it could have been yesterday. I've had such a good day. You know, just uh, really happy we came back, spent the day down here, the weather's treated us well, the birds are chirping, everyone's happy. Put this fella back. Thanks for watching.